It's really easy to add Roman cart to any website because all you have to do is paste in add to basket hyperlinks or buttons. Uh, but where do you get those buttons from? Well, this is the easiest way of generating them. Uh, this is using the product manager. Uh, so you can get there by clicking on the manage button at the top and then select products. And this is what the product manager looks like when you first sign up to the cart. So let's just add a product. You just click on add new product at the bottom and let's enter an item name in this uh, in the product properties which appears in green on the right hand side I'll put a great product and we give it a price let's make it 5.99 don't put any currency symbols in there and then click on the save button at the bottom then that saves and it will refresh in blue on the right hand side you can see the product and click on show me the code at the top of those product properties and you'll see that a pop-up window appears with code for both a button and a hyperlink and now all you need to do is cut and paste those onto your page whichever one you want to use so let's just do that with a button if I highlight that text using the mouse there now I hold down control and press C if you were on a Mac you would hold down the Apple button and press C and then I've created a really simple web page in fact it's so simple it's got nothing in it let's just go there here we are and so if I just paste in that code there this is test.html test.htm if I paste that code in there that's control and V or if you're on a Mac you would hold on the Apple button and press V and then if I save that there we are and now if I run that test uh, page there are, you'll see that what we've got is an empty page with an add to basket button on it so you could paste that button wherever you like you know you're gonna have a page with descriptions and pictures of your products on it you just paste that button in exactly where you want it to appear it's really easy and you know you can you just use trial and error to get the positioning exactly right of where you want to put it uh, and so if I click on this add to basket button just to show you that, that works you'll see that the cart page appears with a great product in it Product one is the item code, which was automatically generated. You could have entered uh, your own. You can enter your own item code on that uh, product property screen. And then if I click on checkout, you know, we could go through and uh, and go through the checkout process. So there's another way of generating add to basket hyperlinks as well. And I'll show you that now, which doesn't involve using the product manager. So if we go back to the web control panel. And this time, if I just click on show menu bar, on the right hand side in the tools menu, if I select easy hyperlink wizard, and now this is a little wizard that just uh, creates hyperlinks that you can paste directly onto your web pages. So the name of the item you're selling, again, I'll put a, a great product. And the price of the item, I'll put $5.99. And so here we have it. So the top box here uh, just contains the code for the hyperlink. You could paste that directly in to your, uh, to your web page. And it would just be a hyperlink. In fact, it would be the same as this hyperlink underneath. And you can click on that to test it. If I just click on that now, there we are. You'll see that the... Uh, uh, the cart appears uh, with a great product and it significantly it doesn't show the item code there and there's a reason for that um, because the item code is, is comes from the product manager and so this this method of creating the hyperlinks doesn't use the product manager uh, which makes it very fast but you can't if you use these hyperlinks uh, you can't have things like stock control you know uh, product based follow-up follow emails and a lot of advanced functionality you can't use so it's best to use the product manager uh, to generate your links uh, or buttons uh, and then there's another box at the bottom here which just has the URL for that hyperlink. So if, for example, if you've got an insert hyperlink function in the web design tool that you're using, uh, that's the URL that you would uh, you would paste in as the URL for that hyperlink. So that's two ways to really easily add buttons or hyperlinks onto your web pages.